Whether you love Trump, whether you hate Trump, one thing that you will do is respect him because this guy is a warrior. To get shot at and still stand for your country and fight for the nation is something that has to be admired and it is a, it's, it's a no-brainer. Um, so we better listen to Trump's speech after his assassination attempt at the RNC convention meeting. Um, let's get straight to it, man. This guy right here, man, Uncle Trump, he's a legend, man. You have to respect him. You have to respect him. Let's get to the video. Delegates and fellow citizens, I stand before you this evening with a message of confidence, strength, and hope. Four months from now, we will have an incredible victory. So tonight, with faith and devotion, I proudly accept your nomination for President of the United States. Thank you. Listen, who else was going to get the nomination? Like, who else in the Republican was going to get the nomination? I'm not going to lie to you, though. Earlier in during the race, I did notice that Fox News, other Republican, were low-key turning on him. At the beginning, when he, when he, when he announced that he was running, you know what I'm saying, for a second time. I, I did see some shift. They're trying to, like, turn on him a little bit. But look at look at him now, man. He got the last laugh. He got the last laugh, man. Who else is going to get, who's going to run? Nobody else is competent enough to run this country other than him. He's done it before, so he knows the ins and out of, of how evil uh, the government and the, and, the, and the left is, you know? Come on now. So many people have asked me what happened. Tell us what happened, please. And therefore, I will tell you exactly what happened. And you'll never hear it from me a second time because it's actually too painful to tell. The amazing thing is that prior to the shot, if I had not moved my head at that very last instant, the assassin's bullet would have perfectly hit its mark. Bro, God works in mysterious ways, man. Whether you believe in God or not, I don't know who you believe, whatever you believe in, man. All I know is that the universe works in mysterious ways, man. The dude was literally talking while the assassin was literally laser pointing at his head. Somehow he ended up turning where the bullet hit his ears. Like, bro, that's just something that, if, if that's not God, I don't know who it is, bro. I really don't know who it is. Man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And I would not be here tonight. We would not be together. Tragically, the shooter claimed the life of one of our fellow Americans, Corey. Comparator, unbelievable person, everybody tells me. He lost his life selflessly acting as a human shield to protect them from flying bullets. He went right over the top of them and was hit. What a fine man he was. That's Loki sad, man. I mean, this dude. I don't know this dude, Corey, man. He just went there, you know, to listen and watch what Trump had to say that day, and he ended up dying. Who could have predicted that, man? It's messed up, man. And he's a firefighter? That's even worse. He was already serving the country. Wow. What this administration, the damage that this administration has done, and I say it often, if you took the 10 worst presidents in the history of the United States, think of it, the 10 worst, added them up, they will not have done the damage that Biden has done. Only going to use the term once. Bro, we all know Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, is not in charge of this country. We all know he's a walking vegetable. We all know he doesn't know where he's at half at a time. 
what do we expect? You know, as soon as it came in, there's war going on in all over the place. America spending billions and billions of dollars funding wars that has nothing to do with the nation, fam. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Biden, you have you have done nothing but cause problems, man. Your time is up. Biden, I'm not going to use the name anymore. Just one time. This administration can't come close to solving the problems. We're dealing with very tough, very fierce people. They're fierce people. And we don't have fierce people. We have people that are a lot less than fierce, except when it comes to cheating on elections and a couple of other things. Then they're fierce. And we're really ready to make changes like nobody had seen before. And remember, a USMCA, I got rid of NAFTA, the worst trade deal ever made, and replaced it with USMCA, which is, they say, the best trade deal ever made. Actually, probably the best trade deal was the deal I made with China, where they buy $50 billion worth of our product. They were buying nothing. They buy $50 billion worth. They had to. But I don't even talk about it because of COVID. I don't even mention it, frankly, because of what happened with Wrong. the China virus. <laughs> At the center of our plan for economic relief are massive tax cuts for workers that Include something else that's turned out to be very popular, actually. Yeah. Here, it's very popular. In this building and all those hotels that I saw that are so nice, I'm staying in a nice one. It's called No Tax on Tips. No Tax on Tips. No Tax on Tips. Together, we will save this country. We will restore the republic and we will usher in the rich and wonderful tomorrows that our people so truly deserve America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, brighter, happier, stronger, freer, greater, and more united than ever before. And quite simply put, we will very quickly make America great again. Thank you very much. Bro, man, listen, man. All I'm saying is this, man. Trump is on level 100, and he's the final boss, fam. Now, I'm interested to see what the Democrats are gonna gonna do, because I'm hearing that Sleepy Joe is about to pull out the race. So, who are they gonna put in in place of him? Because right now, it look it look like Uncle Trump is winning this by a landslide, man. No cap, no one is close. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought, man. Um, if you guys watch the full speech, how you, how, you, how you guys like it, you know what I'm saying? What did you like that he said, man? Anyways, peace out.